All right, everyone. My name is Luke. This is the Outdoor Gear Review. Welcome to this episode. Now, for this episode, I am reviewing two products from Endure, and they are the mini wind screens. Now, I call them wind screens. Endure calls them windshields. No matter how you spin it, these are windscreens. There are two sizes here, a small one and a large one. In this episode, we're taking a look at both. Let's get to it. Now, when it comes to these windscreens, both of them come with these storage bags. Now, the truth is, they are not my favorite. I do not like this lacy sort of material up top. It could be a real pain in the butt to try to get this to go inside of that without something getting caught. It could be a real test of your patience, so to speak. Sometimes I use them, sometimes I don't. The truth is, now that the review is getting done, I may just cut this off. I don't really care about cinching it up all that much, but just being able to slide it in is important. Even pulling them out can be a chore at times. Now, when it comes to the dimensions for these, with the large one here, when it's all folded up, you are looking at eight and a half inches tall by 3.3 inches. And the thickness of this, when it's all folded up, roughly half an inch wide. When it comes to the small one, this is 5.5 inches high, 2.8 inches wide, and again, roughly half an inch in thickness. When you unfold it, the large one is 26 inches long, eight and a half inches high, and it is paper thin. With the small one, when it's all stretched out, you are looking at 19 inches long, 5.5 inches high. The weight of the large one is six and a half ounces. The weight of the small one is 3.8 ounces. These are made from aluminum, but the legs here are stainless steel. If you are using a canister stove, then it makes the most sense to use the larger size screen because it is tall enough to block out the wind. So now you take the windscreen, you wrap it around your stove, you push in the legs, So that was nice and easy. But let's say that you were not using a canister stove, but instead, you were using some solid fuels such as some trioxane. You, of course, can use the larger windscreen, or maybe you don't need to carry the weight. You don't need something this big. You could, in that situation, use the smaller windscreen, and it works perfectly. So as you can see there with these windscreens, they do perform very well. They do exactly what they were designed to do. Now, they are lightweight. The quality is very good. I really have no issues when it comes to performance or quality of either one. Each does have a specific purpose. I mean, for larger systems, the larger one works great. You, of course, can use it for the smaller ones, but it's extra weight. You have the smaller ones for smaller stoves and whatnot. My only real negative are these storage bags. I just do not like them. <laughs> Sometimes it goes really nicely, and then sometimes it could be a true test of your patience. So, I mean, it went in nice and smooth this time, but the legs got stuck on the outside of the bag. All in all, that's a very minor complaint. At LionsTactical.com, the company who sent these in so I could test them out, honestly, you're looking at 17 bucks. For the mini one, you were looking at $16. And at these prices, these are very comparable to other products that are out on the market. Now, it should be mentioned that these are not unique in any sort of way. There are probably 50 companies who make the exact same product, and they all go for roughly the exact same price. One thing that I did notice that is different from those that I have personally tested out are the steel legs which go into the ground, which essentially just 
attach it to the ground and hold it into place so that the wind doesn't blow them around. The legs on the Endura version do not come out. They've been stamped down here at the bottom, so you can't pull them all the way out and you can't lose them. I have a solo stove version, which you can pull them out. And in fact, they go flying all the time. Coffee time, cheers everyone. It's not bad. It's not good. <laughs> this is Folgers Instant Coffee with uh, instant coffee from, I believe, South Korea. That'll put hair on your chest. Puts hair on your back, too. On the back of your hands. On your ears. <laughs> it puts hair every single place you don't want it. But at least you can run. You can jump over mountains after a cup of this. The company that makes these, Endure, they probably don't sound all that familiar to you. But their parent company you will be aware of once I mention it. The company is Proforce. If Proforce doesn't ring a bell, it's the owner of Snug Pack. All of these companies fall under the same umbrella, so to speak. And with that being said, let's just finish up this review with the pros since we've already gone over the cons. First off, the quality is very good, especially for the price. There are more expensive windscreens or windshields, whatever you want to call them, out there. For 17 bucks, 16 bucks, it's not bad by any means. It's aluminum construction, stainless steel legs. It does what it needs to do. They're lightweight, they're compact. They block the wind while providing your stove with the oxygen that it needs to run. You can see here at the bottom how it's been tapered cut so you do get that airflow that your stove needs. Another good pro to this is that they're easy to clean, especially if you're doing some cooking with a cast iron skillet and whatnot. You'll get grease everywhere, get oil everywhere. You can take these home, wash them up nice and easy, and they dry very quickly. When it's close around your stove, it does get a little bit warm, but the heat dissipates very quickly. Going back to the cons for a second, another did come to mind. These legs will not work, of course, on hard surfaces. So if you are using this windscreen on a rocky platform or a rocky surface, you will not be able to anchor it to the ground. With it being a windscreen that is foldable, there are some cracks there. So in the most extreme of windy situations, some air will come through. Again, there is a little bit of influence from air coming in all the way around this thing, but it still allows your stove to perform adequately. And that really is where these windshields, these windscreens come into play. That is where they become so important. You use a windscreen so that your stove is efficient, right? So you get the most bang out of your stove. It doesn't take you forever to boil your water or to cook your food because the heat isn't being blown away. That is the purpose of these windscreens. Now, of course, there are many types of windscreens out there. In my opinion, these work very, very well. You can use a small piece of flashing. You can use tin foil. You can build windscreens out of rocks and sticks. That works very well. But for a lightweight, very slim little profile, these are awesome. They really are. They're easy to set up, easy to deploy. You could fold them up and stow them quickly as well. So there you have it, everyone. Those are the windscreens, the windshields from Endure. All in all, very good products. There's not much to complain about other than the storage bag. I hate those things, to be honest with you. Simply throwing these inside of your fire kit, putting a rubber band around it, works so much better, so much better. A big thank you goes out to Lions Tactical for making this review possible. They didn't sponsor the channel or anything like that, but they did provide this to me so I could do an honest review and that's very important because there's not many companies out there who are willing to do that. Over the years, as you can imagine, I've been approached by many companies who offer me products to review and I tell them, hey, I'm, I can accept it, but the review is going to be honest. So if it's good, I'll say so. If it's bad, I will say so. And you would be surprised at how many companies do not go with that policy. Military First is a company that comes to mind right off the bat here. They wanted me to review a backpack. I said, sure, but their stipulation was that they had to approve it first, the review, the video. And if they didn't like it, I couldn't put it up. And I said, forget about that. That is not how I roll. There is not many companies out there who are willing to donate products for honest reviews. So again, a thank you goes out to Lions Tactical for making this possible. You will find the link down below to their website. If you have one of these windscreens or if you have one that's made from another company, make sure to share your thoughts and your experiences with it down below. As mentioned, there are many different versions of this made by many different companies. Uh, this is one of the better ones. I like the fact that the legs do not come out because in many cases, they just slide all the way out and you can lose them, but not with this one. All right, everyone, take care, strength and honor.
Have a good one.